Good afternoon. I'm Paul Brenton, the Assistant Superintendent of Killingly Schools. And with our team at Killingly Schools, we've constructed this video to answer questions families may have about school reopening. We're excited to be welcoming our children back. We've missed all of them. Our schools may look a little different in the fall, and some of our procedures will be different for our students. But we know that at the heart of the school is a group of adults who love your children and who are here to ensure that they have the best year possible. The guidelines and protocols outlined in this video were developed in partnership with the State Department of Education guidelines and the Northeast Department of Health. These protocols are in place to ensure that every student is able to learn and that our schools and classrooms will still be safe areas that protect the health and well-being of all of our children. As these protocols were put in place, we operated under the following guiding principles. Safeguarding the health and safety of students and staff, allowing all students the opportunity to return into the classroom starting in the fall, supporting both academic and the social emotional needs of our students, and finally, fostering strong two-way communication with partners such as families, educators, and staff. We hope this video better helps you understand how schools may look different in the fall. If you have additional questions, please feel free to access the resources on our website or to reach out to us directly. In order to prevent transmission among the school population, we are asking our parents to screen students before leaving for school, check to ensure that temperature is below 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and observe for symptoms associated with COVID-19, which have been outlined by public health officials. Our district has sent home guidelines for this check, which have been created by the Northeast Department of Health to assist parents in the morning checks. Students will be expected to ride the same bus to school in the morning and the same bus home in the afternoon each day. Face coverings or masks should be in place prior to entering the bus and should remain on for the duration of the bus ride. Each school will have adjusted drop-off procedures in the morning and pick-up procedures in the afternoon. Once students are dropped off in the morning, they will go straight to the designated area identified by their school. Parents should note that drop-off and pick-up windows may be increased this year to accommodate for these new procedures. At schools, students must wear face coverings or masks that completely cover the nose and or mouth while inside the school. Mask breaks will be provided for students multiple times during the day. Killingly Schools is encouraging parents to provide students with masks and face coverings they are comfortable with and to provide students the opportunity to become accustomed to wearing these masks before the start of school. Schools will have backup disposable masks available for students who forget them and schools will provide masks for any family who asks. Students must maintain social distancing to the greatest extent possible during the school day. Students are expected to practice this social distancing when entering and exiting the building, when in classrooms, and moving throughout the school. The district is setting up protocols within schools so that students may do their work without sharing materials. During the day, students must engage in frequent hand washing and sanitizing upon arrival, before and after meals, after bathroom use, and after coughing or sneezing. Desktop trifold barriers will be provided for all students' desks in district. At the secondary level, students will pick these up at the beginning of the day and they will travel with them between their classrooms. In our other schools, these will remain affixed to student desks and will not travel with the students. In our restrooms, we have new protocols that have been established to keep our restrooms safe. These include replacing our hand dryers with paper towels and having capacity limits on the restrooms so that only one student may enter them at a time. To avoid transmission through our water fountains, our water fountains have been replaced by bottle filling stations and students will be issued individual water bottles for use. At the end of the day, as our students head home, they will leave utilizing the same protocols they utilized arriving, maintaining social distancing and ensuring that they have face coverings until they enter their parents' car or until they exit the bus at the end of the day. Some programs will be opening in a hybrid model. This means that for part of the week, students will be in school with their cohort and they'll be learning in a distance learning environment for the remainder of the week. Students should check on their individual school's website to follow the guidelines for remote learning. During the remote learning time, attendance will be taken and students will be expected to complete assignments as though they were participating in a normal school day. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. We're excited for students to come back to school this fall. If you have additional questions, please feel free to reach out to us at Killingly Schools 
through the address provided here. Thank you and have a great summer.